now we need to get to the key element of price discovery in auctions. What will sellers bid in a uniform price auction? Uh, what will the electricity generators bid? Well, we discussed earlier that generators have incentive to operate their plants whenever the price is greater than marginal cost. So, what's a Genco likely to bid in a uniform price auction? It turns out that as long as the option, uh, as long as the auction is reasonably competitive, uh, there are lots of sellers of electricity in the market. Bidders will want to bid their actual marginal cost of generation. Why bid marginal cost? Well, we know that firms are willing to operate their plant at anything above marginal cost. Right? You want to bid, you want to run your plant at anything above marginal cost because you're always going to make more money by doing so than not running your plant once the price is above marginal cost. Never run your plant below marginal cost. Always run your plant above marginal cost. Bids above the scarcity price, the bids above your true value, bids above your marginal cost, are not going to change the closing price in the auction. So, if your marginal cost is, um, is above the closing price in the auction, you're not going to change the closing price in the auction. So um, your bid won't be accepted. It won't affect the closing price at auction. And if your marginal cost is above the closing price at auction, you would not want your bid to be accepted because you would end up generating power at a cost higher than the price received. So if your marginal costs are actually above the closing price at auction, you don't want to have bid lower because your bid might be accepted and then you would be running your plant at a loss. So you certainly have incentive. If you, ha if you have high costs, you have incentive to bid your marginal cost because you don't want to run the plant if the price ends up being lower. Um, if, if you have marginal cost of operating a plant and you bid higher than your marginal cost, then there is some range in which the auction could close and your bid would be rejected even though it would have been profitable to run the plant. So remember, if you bid above your marginal cost and the price is just below your bid, then that plant would have been profitable for you to run, but you didn't get accepted because you bid above your true marginal cost level. So there's a case where bidding above your marginal cost will actually lose you money. Um, bids below the price that you expect to see at the auction won't change the closing price of the auction and won't change whether your bid is accepted or not. So bidding above your marginal cost will result in some of your bids not being accepted when they would have been profitable. Bidding below your marginal cost won't change anything uh, because you're going to get paid the uniform price at the auction no matter what. And if, you, uh, if your costs are actually lower than the closing price, but you bid higher, you lose the deal, bidding lower than the closing price at auction won't change anything for you. So bidders in an electricity procurement auction that is a uniform price auction have incentive to bid precisely their marginal cost of production. Any bids out other than your marginal cost will result in your either losing some profitable opportunities or worse, running your plant when it loses money. 
So a marginal cost bid is always optimal. Bidding lower than your marginal cost because you feel like um, if you bid if you bid higher than your marginal cost because you feel like you want to get more than your marginal cost for your output, then uh, doing so will lose profit a lot, uh, will lose profitable opportunities for generating electricity. Whereas, uh, had you bid your marginal cost, you would have operated the plant and earned some earned some net income on operating the plant. So, in the end, in a uniform price auction, bidders have incentive to bid their marginal cost of production. And remember, this is precisely what we're after in developing a price signal of scarcity for our scarcity pricing story. We want bidders to bid honestly because we want the last bid that was accepted to that bid tells us what the cost was of inducing the very last generator to turn their generator on and sell electricity. And that's precisely the scarcity signal we want to send to the rest of society. That's what it's costing us to produce electricity. All the other units are earning some scarcity rents. And uh, so we can trust to some extent, we can trust the scarcity pricing story to send the right incentives back through the economy to develop the right amount of uh, generation and generating generation assets.